Hey everybody, this is Bloody Hatchets and welcome back to another house tutorial. This one I'll be showing you how you can make the house off of King of the Hill. Thank you so much for watching, hit that like and let's get this started. To start this off, go ahead and put your foundation down just like this using the yellow concrete. And once you have that, go ahead and go to the front of the house right here. Right there will be your front door. Go ahead and take your yellow concrete and do another layer on top of all this that you got already. Alright, so once you've got the yellow concrete built up by two blocks, go ahead go right here and let's put the windows in. So go ahead and use any brown block. I'm going to use brown wool and we're going to count some blocks here. So go one, two, the third one take out and put your brown block take out two blocks the third one put a brown block so you got two blocks in between here for your window right here is one two three and then the fourth one put a brown block go ahead and take out two blocks and then right here go ahead and put your brown block so again you got two blocks right here and then two blocks in between the brown and then three blocks in between these browns and then so on so two here and then two here now let's go ahead and do the same thing right here so there's two yellow the third one take out and put a brown take two out for the window put another brown count one two three the fourth one put a brown take two out for the window Put another brown and you should end up with two left right there all right now once you have got that go ahead and go to this side of the house this here is going to be the sliding glass doors you should have one two three four blocks in between this one and four blocks in between this one so just keep that in mind i'm going to put another window right here so we're going to count one, two, three, and then the fourth one, put a brown, do two, and then another brown. Alright, so let's put two more windows on this side. So again, the front of the house is right here. Go to the right of the front, right here, and count one, two, and then the third one, put a brown one, cut out two, and then another brown one. Now count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And the ninth one, put a brown one. Cut out two, and then another brown one. All right, now once you've got that, go ahead and raise all this up another block. Alright, now let's go ahead and do another layer of the yellow. Alright, now let's go ahead and do the roof. So I'm going to use stone brick stairs and right here, go ahead and put a stair like this. Right here we're going to use the uh, stone brick slabs and go ahead and overhang this like that now right here I'm going to use white concrete you guys can use any white block you want go all the way down to right there and we're going to do the same thing so we're going to put the stair right here and overhang it and then put the slab like this I'm going to go ahead and bring this all the way up so like this the white and just do this back and forth until you come to a point. Alright, so you should come up with something like this with one block in the middle. What we're going to do is upside down stair like that. Now once you have this, go on this side, the back, where the garage is. We're going to do the same thing as what we did on the front. 
Alright, so you should come up with something just like this on the back where the garage is. Now once you have that, go ahead and go on this side of the house and do the same thing right here. Now you're probably thinking that this looks a little bit weird with the white, but trust me, it'll work. So go ahead and do your white like that and then get your stone brick stairs. Do the same thing as what we've done before. Go ahead and overlap these. And then again with the stone brick slabs. Now you should have something like this. Now across the top, go ahead and put your stone brick slabs. Now on the front of the house, what we're going to do, take this slab here, carry it around across the front of the house above the front door like this, and then right here, so you should have this right here, and go ahead and carry this slab all the way down and connect it to this. Now what we're going to do is go ahead and take our stairs and bring our stairs around just like this. Curve it around this way and go ahead and connect it with this one. I'm going to go ahead and connect all these stairs on this side to these stairs right here. Alright, as you see I went ahead and connected these stairs up like that. Now go ahead and go on this side, the back of the house, and go ahead and connect these stairs with these stairs. Now you should have something just like this. Now let's go ahead and go on this side of the house and connect that side with this side. Alright, so I got this so far. Now right here, what we're going to do is go ahead and connect it up but I'm gonna go ahead and use the half slab on top right here I'm gonna put a half slab and carry the half slab all the way down to the front of the house just like that now I'll go ahead and take this stair and connect it around to this side Alright, now let's go to the back of the house, right here above the garage, take this stair here, bring it along and curve it this way, like what we did on the other side, on the front, bring it to right there. Alright, so you should have this just like this, so go ahead and get your stone brick slabs, connect them with those stone brick slabs and go ahead and fill all this in with your slabs. Alright, now let's go ahead and put the windows in. I'm going to use black stained glass panes. Go ahead and fill all your windows in with that. Now your doorway, what we're going to do is we're going to use the birch door because this texture pack is like a brown but I'm going to go inside here and place it. And now above the door we're going to go ahead and put the yellow concrete in there. Alright, now once you have all your windows in there, go to the back of the house right here where the garage is, and let's put our doors in there. So I'm going to use a pillar quartz block and go ahead and fill these in right here. And for the middle of the door right here, I'm going to put a stone button for the handle. Alright, now once you have your garage doors in there, let's go to the sliding glass doors. What I'm going to do is take the black stained glass blocks and put three right there and then go on this side and put three right here. 
Now I'm going to go ahead and fill the rest of it in with the glass panes. The glass panes will be the actual moving part of the door. Alright guys, so go ahead and take your stairs. Just for a little bit more detail, what we're going to do is put them upside down like this. We're going to do this all the way around the house. Alright, now once you got all that done, the back of the house here, there's a drainage pipe. It goes right here, it goes all the way down to right there. Take this half slab out and go ahead and put a hopper down. Now the front of the house, what we're going to do is use the brick slabs and come out one, two, three, and go all the way down to right here. Connect it up right there. Now go over here on this side and go one, two, three, and carry it on down to right here. Alright now the front of the house there's another drainage pipe but this one is on the corner of the house right here so again put the hopper in right here and now go ahead and take this block right here which I use the gray concrete powder you guys can use any kind of uh, sidewalk color that you want go ahead and take this all the way down in a straight line all the way to the road all right, now go ahead and take some fence of choice and come up right here between the windows like this. This is where a small tree is going to be. What we're going to do is go ahead and just push this area up a little bit. Now once you've got that like that, go ahead and go over here. And do the same thing, just kind of randomly place bushes. Alright, now go left of the house and we're going to use jungle planks on this. On this corner here, we're going to come out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks. And then we're going to turn this way, go towards the back of the house, all the way until we get on the edge right here. Keep on going. You should be on the edge of right there. Keep on going to about right here. So it's to this edge right here, it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Make it seven. Now go ahead and bring it on down to you get to the edge of the house here. Now once you got that, go ahead and extend this up three blocks tall all the way around. Alright, now the back of the house, I'm going to use the gray concrete powder where the garage doors are and come out like this all the way down to about right here. Right here is the alleyway. Go ahead and Go all the way, all this right here. Fill all this in with your block here. All this. And then right here what I'm going to do is go ahead and take the same block and fill in right here. This will be the patio. This is what you should have so far. Now go ahead and take your jungle wood planks and go ahead and line it up with this one here. And come out one, two, three, four, and five. Go ahead and bring it along this way towards the front of the house. And when you get right here, Go ahead and connect it up and make this also three blocks tall. 
All right, now the back of the house, there's a tree right here. So I'm gonna take oak sapling, and I'm gonna place it down. Now a little trick to make a nice size tree is I'm gonna go around it with the half slabs, take out the middle, and go ahead and bone mill the sapling here. Now it should come up a good size tree. You see? It's not a little bitty tree. Go ahead and take these off. Alright now in the front yard we're going to do the same thing. We're going to put a tree right about here. Again half slab. Go around. Take that out. Bow mill it. Alright now Go ahead and take some birch leaves or any other leaf and go right here and go ahead and bring this along to the front like this. Go on this side, do the same thing all the way to the road. All right. Now I'll go ahead and go right here on the front, right in between these windows. Go straight up and count one, count one, two, and three, and then the fourth block take out. Go ahead and put a cobblestone block right there and then a cobblestone wall. Alright guys, so back here at the patio I just made a simple table with chairs. And then right here is Hank Hill's um, propane grill, cobblestone wall for his propane tank, a furnace, upside down stair with gray carpet on top, and then right here is just iron trap door with carpet on top. Alright everybody, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If so, please hit that like and subscribe if you're new. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you all next time.